Here you go. What's going on, guys? Help us find a crack. Yeah. Got the red sharpie here already because red is for danger. And we're gonna detect the crack with this unit. See, called the Eddie Curran machine. Come on. This is the 737. No, that's not that's not a crack. That's just dirt. This guy, what about this guy right here? See? That's just dirt too, you see? But what about what about this guy right here? See? That's a crack. See? Alright. So Michael's gonna show you. So any vertical lines on the unit, it's a crack. There you go. Focus at the moment. See those vertical lines, guys? That's a crack. Now we're gonna we're gonna mark the end of the cracks. The other end right here. Because safety is number one, guys. That's what we do for safety. We got four days for a repair on this airplane because they got to remove uh, the water tank, the insulation blankets, the sidewall panels, and the floorboard. Yep. Sheet metal repair, the crack that we found. Let's go inside the baggage compartment. See? It's kind of, kind of creepy. Inside the garbage uh, baggage compartment here, and then have this place taken apart. We have a repair here. That's where they're at. Working on the repair. And on this side, they also have the repairs. taking out the rivets and they're gonna put you put a patch repair from the outside. The rim. So what we got here is we got a doubler and a tripler patch repair and they've come up with these the inserts and they line up right in here you see something like that and they put the doubler repair this right here is a masterpiece, guys. These guys right here are engineers, finest in the industry. See? Now you put this one right here. They all line up. Then they get a guy from the inside and a guy from the outside, and they pop the rivets. And you'll see this repair after it's all done, painted. Then they pressurize the airplane so they make sure that there's no leaks on the patch repair. But this is it. Yeah, the safety is number one. So they've taken out the wing to body fairings, meaning wing to the body of the airplane. They take these fairings off, right? So we could do inspections on these rivets right here. See? And all these fasteners are on the fasteners. Now I'll show you how we do them real quick. See? We do figure eights around the fasteners. All these fasteners. See? Little figure eights. See? We go on and on and on and on. And we have the monitor here checking for vertical lines. But as you guys saw already, We've already found a crack, but it doesn't matter. We don't stop when we find one. The safety is number one. So that's, that's Michael right there. Doing the inspections underneath the overwing to body fairings.
and so and these are the fairings right here see these are the wing to body fairings right here see they get covered up so there you go the wing to body fairings are back installed painted and sealed see How they do it. A slow turbine engine. See? So fine tuned and engineered that I can get out of my hand right here. You see? Turn it with my hand. Pretty cool. The other one over there, the other. And we're inspecting and looking for cracks using our special NDT equipment that checks to cracks right underneath the paint where most of the naked eye can't see. Right. So talking about the C, uh, we're gonna Michael and I go, you'll see this after this video on the other part of this video where we go out fishing. And we just we got the American flags out here, guys. Respect, respect American flags. That's what we're doing here. And we're doing all of this for what? Safety, number one. We do all this for safety. Not only the uh, aeronautical engineers on the ground, for the passengers, the crew, and the airplane. Safety is number one. I can't emphasize that anymore. And as you can see, we have our fishing outfits on already. So we'll be seeing you guys on the, sea. on the sea. So you can see the sea that we see. You see? Putting the beast, putting the beast in the water today for some serious lobster catching, we hope. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful day out here today. A lot of equipment here, guys. A lot of equipment. When it's raining, why? Lobsters are already wet anyways. Look at the lightning, guys. Look at the lightnings out here. This is how we do it. Can't show you everything because then you're gonna get to know my spot. Look at this guy coming up on my spot right here. You know what? Our spot is already in the cooler. You'll see. Lightning galore. Woo! Woo! It's like an orchestra out there, guys. The lobsters are already wet, so that's why we go diving for lobsters when it's raining. I think we're one and done. Let me see what they look like. What's going on, guys? This 
special officer says to release her, and she will tell me where thousands and thousands of them will be. She picked the wrong boat. All right, Mike. Welcome to the 2023 lobster mini season. Yes, there's some storms coming this way, but um, I'm sure that we're gonna try to get some nice tails. Right, Mike? The right kind of tails. Yeah, because there's airplane tails, there's fish tails, lobster tails, and there's the wrong type of, or the right type of, the right type, the, of the, right type the right type of tails. Yeah. So today's theme is not chasing tails. Today's theme is it's not over until it's over. Yeah, we'll elaborate a little bit about that, but we gotta go, cause the tails are waiting, chasing tails. I'm going to you. There we have it, guys. Never seen electricity, never seen a refrigerator, a freezer, a restaurant, or a fish market. This is our paradise. Let's flip them. This could be, this could be uh, my thumbnail right here. We, yes, we're trying to keep things healthy. We'd like to thank you for uh, joining us today for the Lobster Mini Season 2023 out of Miami, Florida, USA. And also, aviation part of this video. Amazing, amazing footage. Back to the team, guys. 
Uh, it's not over until it's over. Exactly. So when, until there's no breath in your lungs, it's never over. It's a new day, new possibilities. All right. So I see what do they always say? What do they always ask us? How you guys go out there fishing in the rain and um, catching lobsters in the rain? It's because they're already wet anyways. Fishing lobsters are already wet. So, you know, we're the ones getting the wrinkles, not them. I'm out.